Hey guys, Berman here, and I'm going to show you an advanced way to do the light rays effect I did previously. Last time I made this tutorial, I just said drag the luminance on and change it to how you like, but I actually have a better way of doing that now. It requires a little more work, but it does pay off. It looks much better, and it's not that hard. You want to start off making a new video track and send the compositing mode to add, and then you're going to want to copy the clip, or you can control C and then paste it or control V and then the clip's gonna look a lot brighter don't worry it's supposed to do that and the next thing you want to do is go to threshold and then drag any one down that you want and then max it out to a hundred so then it should look like the clip that we started off before see if I mute this clip it looks the same as the bottom one next we're gonna search is rays and then click here and drag luminance on not alpha if you drag alpha on it will not work. It will just make your screen white. It has to be luminance. And the next step we're going to do, so I'm going to drop the quality. I'm going to show you how the rays look better. If we, um, if I remove threshold, that's what it looks like. If we add threshold, it looks like it's normal. So what we're going to do, instead of just having absolutely no threshold, we're just going to slowly take it away. And you can see how it works. And then you can go back to rays. You can change your X position and your Y position and what's different about the threshold and the other way of doing it is you can control how much you want much easier and the rays will only show up where it's bright kinda like how diffusion would work so in my opinion it's much better than the previous tutorial I showed on how to do it like right here you don't see any like notice how you only see the rays at the sky kind of like it's the sun it's just much more realistic and I prefer that the only downside to something like this is um, if someone's to shoot for the example right there let me go back see that's kind of tacky it just looks kind of stupid so what you can do is just split the clip and then split it again and delete that part out so that never happens and then you go back to having your rays and yeah, I mean that's pretty much it. Sorry the tutorial is a little short. I'm trying to get active again. And I'm a little rusty at the tutorials, but if you guys could like, that'd be great. I'm trying to get motivated to uploading and editing again, even though it's kind of hard because I don't really have any ideas of what to do. I'm kind of just recycling my edits right now. But uh, if you guys could like it, comment of other tutorials you'd like, that'd be great. Anyways, thank you for watching. Peace.